Hello everybody and welcome to Morzak EV, a channel dedicated to all things electric vehicles, electric vehicle charging and all related technologies. So hopefully you've seen the video where we pick up our new van, the Peugeot e-Expert. So it's the next day um, and we want to get straight into installing some racking so we can put the van to use, get it on some jobs and try it out. So we're not going to go through the actual installation process because there are plenty of uh, videos on the company's website for the system that we've purchased. But what I do want to do is talk you through um, exactly what we've selected, why we've selected it, why we went with the system we did. Then at the end we'll give you a van tour and show you what exactly what we've got inside. So let's get started. Okay, been on this uh, for a few hours now. I'm gonna call it a day. Uh, it's a bit cold. It is a Saturday as well, so don't judge. Um, and yeah, we'll pick it up tomorrow, Sunday. See if we can get it finished. And a few things that are a bit awkward, but I think we've learned a lot. So hopefully tomorrow we can finish the racking off. Um, we'll see how it goes. That second one went in in about half an hour. That first one took about three or four hours. So I think that shows uh, once you've got the method and you know how it works, it's not that difficult. It's just figuring it out in the first place. Well, that's the end of day two. We've got most of the racking in now. Um, we need some bits for the floor that we're missing. So I'm gonna pick this up in the week, hopefully get it finished, and then I'll give you a tour of the finished product. Okay, so we've got everything we need now. Last stretch, we're gonna put in the false floor and the lock box. Okay, so today's Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. Um, and we just took a couple of our spare hours to put the roof rack on. Um, which is this Vanguard roof rack. It was fairly easy to put on. Okay, so it's been a couple of weeks now, been using the van, we filled it up with our stuff, been doing a few jobs, and getting on with it really well. The system we've gone with is BOT. Um, now there are a couple of reasons why we went with BOT. Firstly, um, they're manufactured in the UK, in Cornwall. So we thought that was good, keeps the miles down, keeps the carbon footprint down on the, uh, on the products. The next is, it's a modular system, but they do bespoke van kits. So the system is all modular, you build it together, but there are various size kits that do for specific vans. And it has specific fixing brackets for those vans. So that's really good. It means you haven't got to um, you haven't got to drill the chassis. You haven't got to get the angle grinder out to adjust bits and pieces. The brackets and that all fit this van. It was a little bit snug in places, a little bit tight, but it all fitted really, really well. And once it's all in, it's really rigid. That takes me on to another one of the positives, which was that it's a metal racking system. So we wanted a metal racking system, something that was hard wearing and wouldn't move in case of an accident so nobody's going to get hurt. And even driving around country lanes, going around corners, it's all super rigid, nothing falls out. Like I say, it's modular, so a whole bunch of fixing boxes, uh, trays, and then these little free boxes where you can put, uh, you can put things inside them, tools, equipment, fixings, um, and they're all held in place, don't come out. So again, we really like that idea. It means we can store everything, everything has a place, and we know where stuff is when we get to the jobs. And we use our Dymo, Dymo, Dymo. label maker to uh, make some labels so everybody can see 
where everything is in the van. So, I thought we'll start at the front of the bulkhead. Okay, so starting with the bulkhead, uh, we've got one of these, what they call perfo panels. So there are holes in the panel at the back where you can mount things onto. So clips for holding tools, uh, some of these hooks. I've actually bought some DIN rails off Amazon so we can mount all our most commonly used RCDs, MCBs, RCBOs and switches. So they're mounted across the back here. Um, and then there's this paperwork panel so that's got a bunch of paperwork. And then we've got a couple of shelves, well, actually three shelves here, um, where we've got bits and pieces stored at the moment. Then here, there's actually a cutout. Now the idea of this uh, blank area here, at the moment I've got my tool bag. However, this panel here unclips, so you can store extra long stuff under the seat in front. So the seat in front lifts up, and you can put extra long things inside the van and they go all the way through to the front footwell. Okay, so on the passenger side, at the back of the van, we've got a couple of things going on. So firstly, some shelving here. Then we've got a large storage box above that. Um, at the moment, I've got my tails kits in there. Then a whole bunch of storage boxes, some larger ones, and then these smaller boxes here. Um, and that just contains loads of bits and pieces that we use. So again, we've started labelling them up. Lugs, wagos, ferrules, things like that. So um, I'll just show you inside one of the boxes so you can see what, this, what it looks like. Okay, so just so you can see what it looks like inside. There you've got a whole bunch of different size compartments. Lots of metal cable containment of various types, earthing nuts, uh, you know, bits for SWA, various lugs, um, and a whole bunch of Wagos, or Wagos, as some people call them. So, yeah, each one of those boxes has got compartments like that in it, various sizes. Um, so all these little bits and pieces are stored neatly. It's all labelled up. We know where it is. Locks. And then... Slides into place. Uh, and there's some little um, clips here so it won't come out without being forced out. Okay, so moving on to the driver's side of the van. Um, again, we've got some deep storage bins, some smaller shelves, a whole bunch of these little modular boxes that I was talking about, some more storage boxes. Um, the shelves are various sizes, so we've tried to put them where, where the van comes in, put some of the smaller shelves. You'll notice that we've got a van with dual doors, but we've still put racking on the driver's side. So, a couple of reasons for that. One, we didn't want to necessarily have to use the two doors. Um, having one door is fine for what we do. So we decided to put racking across the driver's side door because that's the side where we parked on the road, that's in traffic. So as you can see, Coming around this side, we can access everything we need to from this side when we parked on somebody's driveway. But when we're on the road, we can still get to it from inside the vehicle as well. So either way, we win. So now we'll talk about the false floor. Oh my God. What? No. Oh my God. So Bot are a stockist of Armour Guard. So Armour Guard is basically a lockable drawer that can be bolted to the bottom of your van. Um, so the drawer itself is secured. There's two locks. So even if my van's unlocked, it's secure on the job. And obviously if somebody breaks into your van as well, 
it's a little bit of an extra deterrent that will hopefully buy you a little bit of time. Then on the opposite side, we've got these storage boxes where we just keep some of the bigger items, including the all-important Makita site radio. So finally, um, there's these panels, which we've uh, used self-tapping screws to go into the back doors. And again, really flexible, really modular. So you can uh, buy all these little accessories. So we've got this uh, silicon tube holder from the back here, some hooks for our sleeve here. Um, and then one of the things that we really loved about the bot system was every little bit has a function. So all the end panels of the frames here, you can put little accessories. So I've got these little clips that hold the drill in place. Uh, I've got my little magnetic tray um, for extra screws and uh, bits. Um, and then over to the flip side, again, similar sort of thing. Uh, I've used some clips to bolt my big wipes to, big side wipes. Some nitrile gloves in a box here. So I bought some generic bungee cords which just help locate everything in its place as well. Um, so uh, these can be used for all sorts of stuff. So I've got my big SWA cable shears here. Hello. And then some more sleeving. Come on. Good boy. Come here. Sit. Say hello to YouTube, Kai. This is actually my uh, brother and sister-in-law's dog, Kai. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the tour of the van then. Really pleased with it so far. It's working out so much better than the old van, um, where we just couldn't find anything at all. I put my own racking in that one as well, and it was uh, just a plywood racking system. It fitted fine. It just didn't work out in terms of, um, you know, storing stuff and finding it. So I'm hoping this system will work loads better. So yeah very pleased with it um, so I hope you like the video I hope you like the racking I'd love to hear your thoughts on it what do you think I could improve let us know is anybody else thinking of uh, kitting out the van with a racking system what do you like what don't you like so yeah let us know in the comments below if you like the video give us a cheeky thumbs up on that like button make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications of future videos check us out on our social media if you are thinking of moving energy suppliers, check out our Octopus referral code and you'll get £50 credit on your Octopus account when you sign up. And in the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Yeah. Come on then.